What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So today we're going to be going over how cannabis can actually help chronic fatigue syndrome. So I need you to stay awake for this one, alright? Let's go. Chronic fatigue syndrome, or CFS, is a complex and debilitating condition that affects millions of people worldwide. CFS is characterized by persistent and unexplained fatigue that interferes with daily activities and does not improve with rest. CFS can also cause other symptoms such as pain, cognitive impairment, sleep problems, and mood disturbances. The cause of CFS is unknown, and there is no specific diagnostic test or cure for it. We'll be exploring today how cannabis, a plant that contains hundreds of active compounds called cannabinoids, can help alleviate some of the symptoms and improve the quality of life of people with CFS. THC can have an analgesic and anti-inflammatory effect by modulating the immune system and reducing the production of pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines. THC can also interact with the endocannabinoid system, a network of receptors and molecules that regulate various physiological processes such as pain, mood, appetite, and inflammation. The ECS can be activated by endogenous cannabinoids, exogenous cannabinoids, or synthetic cannabinoids. By activating the endocannabinoid system, THC can help restore the balance between pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory signals in the body. CBD or cannabidiol, another important cannabinoid in cannabis, can also reduce inflammation by influencing the immune system and the ECS. CBD can also enhance the effects of THC by increasing its availability and reducing its breakdown. CBD can also counteract some of the negative side effects of THC, such as anxiety, paranoia, and memory impairment. There is no scientific evidence suggesting that cannabis can cure CFS or addressing the underlying cause. However, there is some anecdotal evidence and preliminary research suggesting that cannabis can reduce some of the symptoms and improve the quality of life of people with chronic fatigue syndrome. For example, with pain. Many people with chronic fatigue syndrome experience chronic pain in different parts of their body, such as muscles, joints, head, or abdomen. Cannabis can help relieve pain by activating cannabinoid receptors in the brain and the spinal cord that modulate pain perception. Cannabis can also reduce inflammation that contributes to pain. Cannabis may be an alternative or an adjunct to conventional pain medications such as opioids or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, which can have serious side effects or cause dependence. Jumping in the middle of the video is always ask you to please like, subscribe, ring the bell, buy me coffee, hit up my Patreon. And if you'd like to support me, you can also go to my TikTok where I'm actually posting all of these as a series, about eight to nine episodes per series. And it's only eight dollars per series, so I mean that's less than a dollar per episode, so go check it out. Go check it out. Fatigue. Fatigue is a hallmark symptom of CFS and can severely impair physical and mental functioning. Cannabis can help reduce fatigue by stimulating the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that regulates motivation, energy, and reward. Cannabis may also have sedative effects that can increase sleepiness or impair alertness. Therefore, cannabis use for fatigue should be carefully monitored and tailored for individual needs. Cognitive Impairment Many people with chronic fatigue syndrome experience cognitive impairments such as difficulty concentrating, remembering, or processing information. Cannabis can help improve cognitive function by enhancing blood flow to the brain, protecting brain cells from oxidative stress, and modulating neurotransmission. Cannabis can also improve mood and reduce anxiety that can interfere with cognitive performance. However, cannabis may also impair memory and attention in some cases, especially at high doses or with chronic use. Therefore, cannabis use for cognitive impairment should be cautiously adjusted and evaluated. So wrapping things up, cannabis may be able to help treat some of the symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome such as pain, fatigue, and cognitive impairment. However, cannabis is not a cure for CFS and it has potential risks and side effects. Therefore, it is very important to use cannabis responsibly and under medical supervision. So make sure that before you start using medical cannabis that you consult with your doctor. And remember, if you found this video informative and helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out the references that are listed in the description for more information on this topic. And for our strain of the week, we are going to go with...
Coca by Good Day Farms. This strain tastes and smells spicy, sweet, and fruity, but with a hint of chemical diesel. It's known to alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression, and it can also leave patients feeling creative, buzzed, and relaxed. So make sure that you go pick some up and then go home and watch one of your favorite movies. Just not Paul Blart Mall Cop. And maybe when you get home, you just turn on my channel and watch all my videos. I'll be here, waiting. Patiently. As always, if you have any ideas for videos, hit me up down in the comments. Some hate mail, down in the comments. Some love mail, down in the comments. Pictures of kitties, down in the comments. Thank each and every one of you for watching. I love you guys, and until next time, deuces.